Okay, YouTube, today we're going to do a review on this stand-up desk, store large clam one, retractable adjust keyboard tray. Oh my god, so worthy. Okay, it's basically a keyboard tray that can clamp onto a, to a table like that. Okay, and it's going for $54 on Amazon. The purchase links is in the description if you want to check it out. Okay, so let's go to the open box. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my current setup. This is my office. It's a pretty standard IKEA cheap table right here. Two monitors and my laptops right here. I would like to set up another uh, uh, keyboard, external keyboard and a mouse. And you can see I have a vertical mouse. I wanna use it. But if I do it right here, I mean, it's not the best ergo uh, economics for my my wrists and my shoulders and my elbows. So I'm gonna set up a keyboard tray right here. Okay, so I ordered from Amazon. This is the box it comes with. I'm going to open box. There's nothing fancy about this box. It just says stand up desk store. And then, stop keyboard tray. Okay, whatever. Okay, let's open this guy up. Notice the instruction to how to assemble. The keyboard trays is in the back, so make sure you don't dump this cardboard box right away. Okay, open this part up. You know, I've been working from home since March, so you now I have feeling like back pains and wrist pains and elbow pains because I'm sitting in front of the desk all the time so i got this uh, keyboard tray i got this um, official like a uh, economics chair so just to you know reduce those pain from working a long time in front of a computer okay put this out in here i guess let's see ah, okay i don't know what that is this is the tray. Whoa, this is the tray itself. That's it. There's only two packets in there. The big tray itself. I believe this is are the, the clamps, and it comes with a little screwdriver right here. Okay, I'm gonna keep this box on the bottom of my table. Okay, let's unwrap these guys right here. See, oh, this is the clamp, and then it's the metal part for the the harness. Okay. Let's see, let's get this from this wrapper right here. Make sure I have everything correctly. Again, the same thing. The metal harness, and then the clamp itself. Okay. Two out, two set. This is the two set in a little baggie with all the necessary screws inside. See it? Pretty cool screwdriver here. Okay. And then, yeah, you can hear my kids in the background. That's how life is gonna be with all the kids. Wow, this is a huge keyboard tray compared to my table because my table is really small all right look at, look at the size and look at my table <laughs> right I mean it could barely fit under the desk okay and uh, yeah oh so here's the instruction so I guess you don't have to keep the box then unless you want to be heard it keep the box okay so Let's see, this is the back side of the keyboard tray. There's a moving part right here, you can see. Right here. That's how you move the, the tray in and out from under the desk. This is the trap right here. Okay. And this is the, the top part of the tray. All right, pretty smooth looking. 
you have the, the stopper on the edge so you don't like you know if your keyboard is really slim you don't you don't uh, you prevent the keyboard from falling off from the tray it's the there's a keyboard stopper right here in the back all right let's go into the instruction how to use number one okay uh, let's see we have a clamp right here this is the clamp and then we have the two holes on this side and you want to line up the, the metal like this the first two holes line up with the two holes right here and then you want to put the two screws in there okay pretty self-explanatory the instruction looks pretty simple I mean the whole reason I want to get the, the clamp on keyboard tray is that I don't want to deal with screws with this the desk I have because I know the fact that um, IKEA desk is not the tabletop is not the best quality right because if you have a screw under the the desk then the, 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 the old style older style keyboard tray then it's not probably not gonna hold up pretty well but anyways okay so I guess we're using the longer screws there's two kind of screws you can see before you kind of use the longer screws for the first step all right it should be five of these and then five smaller screws on the thingy right here okay Let's get the long screw. Let me see if this. Wait, nope. I was wrong. So we're gonna use a smaller screw. Use the smaller screw. Oh, I lost one. Oh, nope, it's here. Okay. Using the shorter screw for the first step that you line up the first hole on the metal part to the the clamp hole itself and you use the two provided all right it should be pretty simple clamp ones pretty simple and it's easy really easy to screw in too okay I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this for the video if I if I have to do it I have to do it on a table but I'm holding the clamp one put the two screw in Use the screwdriver so it's tightened up. Hey, that's it. Oh wait, did I? Okay. Oh, that's two parts. Oh, yeah. So, so this is one of it. That's one part of it. Remember that the the clamp opening is facing out, and then the the um, the metal part harness is facing this way like this and then the other one is is, is different right <coughs> same thing right two holes on the on the clamp first two holes on the long side of the metal harness using a smaller screw kind of line it up with your your fingers put it inside all right kind of do it hard to do with the finger use a screwdriver so you line it up just put it inside like that yep it'll be much easier if you do it on a table still on a table oh yeah much easier <laughs> i'll try to put it closer to the camera so you can, can see it better but use a table. Use a table. Help yourself. Okay. So now we got the first step with the harness set up like that. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Okay. Step two is to let's see. We have the back of the tray. Okay, like this. Alright. 
So the front, this is the front of the tray. See the little black shell right here. And then we are going to put the the metal harness on it. Okay, so make sure we know which direction is the correct direction right here. Okay. And then we can see that the, on the right side, we're gonna put the the metal, the two holes on the, on the short side of the metal harness onto the onto the oh the moving part the moving part of this get this track right here you guys see this okay now we're gonna use the which screw is this okay this is the longer screw okay so this part kind of make, take close attention okay so the the first one on the right side the clamp is facing uh, inward to, to, towards you, okay? You can see? So this part is facing towards you, okay? And this, this, this is the back side of the keyboard, okay? And put the screw here. Guys, you're just gonna use the long screw. You see, make sure you use the long, longer screw. And then you can use a screwdriver, just line it up here. Use a screwdriver to screw it in. Very straightforward. Like, very straightforward. Nothing fancy, just good old screwing. Okay. Line up, same thing on the other side. Again. Make sure that the clamp size is towards you. Line up the hole to the, the moving part. Get two long screws. Using the provided screwdriver. Nice. Okay. And one more here. Okay, I think the whole assembly is done. Next thing you need to do is just clamp on the table. All right. So I guess we have extra screws just in case you lose them. So I suggest put these screws back in the in the little bag that provided. You know when you move or you know lose a screw and screwdriver, you can use them later. It's a really cool screwdriver, pretty handy, pretty small. You can give it to a kid if you don't want to, right? Okay, Whew, let me just wipe off my sweat. Alright, now we're going to do the clamp on to the table. Whoa. Okay. Let me adjust the camera angle a little bit for you. Okay. So this is my table. Very short and width. And then we just cam this bad boy onto here. The keyboard tray is pretty light, so you don't have to worry about like you know, not able to. I guess you can do this. Oh. So you turn the the adjusting to the left. I mean, uh, counterclockwise to tighten it. You can tighten the right side here. Okay, so that is done. And then you can tighten on the, the left side. Ooh, I'm sweating. This is hot. 
so hot in California nowadays. Summertime and then the the wildfire around my area. It's crazy. We're all packed and ready to go anytime. You know, just the essential survival stuff. Yeah, it's pretty bad in California. I want to step outside, coronavirus and uh, the smell of smoke. Burning ashes. And then, uh, yeah, just try to survive in this pandemic and wildfire by staying at home. And staying at home, you need quality time with the computer. That's why I need this tray right here. Okay, it take a long time to cut in it. Okay, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. That's the keyboard tray. You can slide it in and out, like such. Or you could tighten it more. I didn't tighten it all the way, just because, is it straight? Okay, that should be straight. Okay. Yeah, you can tighten it more. So it won't wobble. Pretty self-explanatory. So the, this stand-up desk storage keyboard tray, it claims to be adjustable height. So if you take a closer look at the at the keyboard right here, you can see that it's pretty got a pretty big gap right now, right? It's pretty low. It's pretty low for this. I think I'm gonna adjust the the screw right here. The screw on the long long piece on the harness, it decides on how low you want it. Remember when, when the instructions say I'm I need to screw it on the first first hole on top, that is the lowest setting for the keyboard tray. If you want the keyboard tray to be, you know, a little bit higher, right? A little bit higher, then you want to go on to the, the middle, the middle hole or even the the lowest hole. So right now I can fit. I can put a fist in here right now. I don't need that much of space. I probably use the middle, middle hole. But we'll see. How to test out with my keyboard and see how it goes. All right, guys. So I just make a little adjustment. I unscrew the the screw right here and adjust the the height of the tray to be the highest setting, which is the we're using the 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 bottom screw here. I don't know if you can see. It. Is the bottom screw here to um, screw the, the harness onto the clamp piece okay so use the bottom screw for the highest setting use the top screw for the lowest setting of the tray uh, because my keyboard is really thin so I'm using the highest setting with my mouse here okay all right and the advantage of this uh, keyboard tray is that there's no screw on the table then you need to do anything on the table or desk uh, you just need uh, two clamps here right on the table side and that's the trade-off right you lose this little bit of table space right here but you don't you don't have any damage to the desk I mean you can use this uh, keyboard tray on any kind of desk that you want remember this is like a really cheap IKEA table tabletop that I bought from uh, Ikea and I was able to use this tray on it so it's pretty cool and the good thing is now that I, I'm like with this tray with my mouse and keyboard attached to my, my Mac I can look at this all these monitors from like further away from these monitors so that will save my vision a little bit otherwise I'll be like standing right here looking at this all the screens right here on the big screens on the 24 uh, 27 inches 4K monitors, so this really uh, make my eyes really tired and damaging my vision. So with the keyboard tray, I'm able to uh, min minimize the my damage on my, on my wrist, right? And just do it with the mouse and keyboard, and save my vision a little bit. So this is a really good uh, ergonomics uh, setup for uh, anybody who is working from home. So if you like this keyboard tray, you can check out the, the purchase link in my description. 
Thank you for watching and support for this channel. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you like this content. Thank you very much. See you guys later.